for a lot of fish species, they'll be spawning in sort of outer waters away from the coast. So they're releasing their eggs out there, and the eggs are basically kind of drifting around, being moved around by currents and winds. And for some species anyway, that what, what happens is that those young eggs that then hatch into fish larvae, the real small fish, um, that those are brought by currents into inshore areas. They reach these kind of safe havens. They're able to find shelter. So a lot of what we see is, you know, kelp or eelgrass or vegetation that they can hide out in. There's a lot of food for them to eat. So the thought is that those areas are really critical for uh, determining the survival of those, those little fish. And so that's, that's what really brought the, the inshore areas into this project is we want to look at them as nursery grounds for some of these species. Pollock, uh, Pacific Cod, Pacific Ocean Perch, Arrowtooth Flounder, and Sablefish. So kind of our three main activities are uh, we do a little acoustic survey and this is using sonar sound waves and we basically use that to try to visualize fish swimming around in the water column. The second really important thing is uh, sampling the real shallow nearshore areas. And so there we've got two different nets, a beach seine and a purse seine. We just pull it up and pick everything out of the net and sit there and, and st study the catch. So this is a young of the year Pacific cod. Uh, so back in, oops, back in probably February, March, uh, this was an egg. The final one is studying the physical environment. So. Temperature is 11.93 degrees Celsius, and the salinity is... We're finding there's a real difference among those five species uh, to the extent that they use the, the, the nearshore areas. You know, we're still in the middle of figuring all this out, but generally what we see are young Pollock and young Pacific Cod in particular. Uh, we see, basically haven't seen any of the really little sable fish. We'll see age one, age two sablefish in some of these bays, um, but we don't see the really little ones. Uh, we don't see the really little arrowtooth flounder and, uh, or the Pacific Ocean perch. And then in contrast, you have something like Pacific cod. We've got really good evidence now that they're heavily using uh, these nearshore areas. The different thing about this program is really the, the scale and the, the breadth of it. The fact that we're really trying to look at the entire ecosystem. We're looking at these five focal fish species, but not to the exclusion of the environment as a whole. You know, a lot of these bays can be a really important source of nutrients coming from rivers or just from terrestrial vegetation. And this tends to be the area that, that uh, serve as a really great kind of hiding place for, for small fishes or young life stages of larger fishes. From an ecological perspective, they tend to be super important species as prey for either sea lions or seabirds or adult fish. So there's a lot of reasons besides just that uh, juvenile fish survival about why these nearshore areas are, are important. Again, that kind of wider perspective is what's really important on this project.